morning, magandang umaga po. Ito ang programang Bawal Ang Pikon. Get it straight with Daniel Razon. Marami po sa atin ang hindi nakakaalam na may isa palang konseho sa labas ng Commission on Elections na nakaka-influensya sa desisyon ng COMELEC kaugnay sa gagamiting technology para sa pagpapatupad ng automated election system. Ito po ang COMELEC Advisory Council. Ano ba ang mandato ng grupong ito? Alamin po natin mula sa ating panahin ngayong umaga. Let's welcome to the program, the OST's Information and Communications Technology Office Executive Director and Chairman of the Comelec Advisory Council, CAC, Undersecretary Luis Napoleon Casambre. Good sir, good morning po. Morning. Welcome to the program, sir. How are you? Thanks for having me. Yes, yes. Salamat po. It's our pleasure. And let's get it straight. Um, yung CAC, yung kailan ba ito na ano, nag-umpisa? Actually, the CAC was mandated as part of the AES law. Aha, okay. Oo. Uh, 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 ano ho, sino ang pumipili dyan ng mga um, members po? Yeah, well, it's the it's our office that uh, picks them. No? Okay. Specifically, myself. No? Mm -hmm. uh, we pick them through a process. Uh, kung kasi, the council is mandated to recommend to the common, like the most appropriate and yes, uh, correct, correct. Uh, effective technology. That's right. You know? So based on that mission, you know, uh, we come up with a uh, required set of competencies that the council would require. Mm -hmm. you know? Of course, complying with the profile uh, mandated by law. You know? mm -hmm. yung, yung, yung profile, kasi kung yan eh, there are three government agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the former ICT, which is now our office, the DOST, the de uh, Department of Education, and then uh, IT practitioners from the associations, mm -hmm. and then from the electoral reform groups, and then the academy. Mm -hmm. you know? So based on that profile and the required the, the mission given, you know, we select kusini um, yung well we invite people to apply, and then based mm -hmm. on their profiles we select kung kusini mo. Ah, so magpapa apply kayo para yeah. may invitation mm -hmm. kusini oh, mga oh. apply. But as of now, po, ilan po members nito? Well, the council is supposed to have uh, nine members. But right now, um, there are only eight. Uh, ang maximum ho, nine. Yeah, nine. A maximum uh -oh. nine. So uh -oh. you cannot go beyond nine. Opo, yeah. uh, uh, yun hong nakaraan, nagpa, nag, uh, ano ba to? Kailangan ba uh, yearly nagpapalit ng mga members? O meron hong a certain period of time where you well, have I think to select the, Well, the right? law prescribes that the council is formed for every election. No? So okay. every three years. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, each time na merong election, yes. kailangan papalitan ng members? Well, not really. You don't have to replace them. No? Okay. But you should reselect. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we have, um, uh, I believe, uh, notwithstanding the government yes. uh, members, no? uh, one of them is, ano, is a from the uh, former CEC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, pwede kayong mag-drop din? Mag, or or mag-almawa? Yes, medyo oh, ano, oh, ay, oh, ayaw oh, na namin ito. Uh, actually, we require that they have no, they declare no conflict of interest. No? Uh -huh. For example, they don't work as a, yes, yes. Uh, for uh -huh. any of the candidates, they don't work for any of the vendors. So, uh -huh. so but it sometimes happens that um, there a conflict arises and then they, we ask them to Mm. So ngayon, sino hong mga, ilan hong mga bagong members ninyo? Uh, so, uh, six. Six ang bagong members? Um, tat, uh, uh, yeah, six. Uh -huh. So dalawa lang po yung luma na natira? Yeah, well, that's including, myself. Including yourself and the other uh, one? No, no, three. Three. Myself, uh -huh. the Yusek Muyot from the Department of Education, uh -huh. and uh, Mr. George Quintanar of the uh, Chief Information Officer Forum. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So ngayon ho, kasi kayo ng last time kaya usap ko si Chairman Brillantes. Yes. Kayo ay tinuturo na ang CAC daw ang mabagal kasi kaya hindi hindi sila kagad na ka pagdecide nsa dahil matagal daw niyo inilabas yung yung decision with regard to ano ba ang gusto niyo. Dahil sila gusto nila bago. Parang kayo naman, gusto niyo mag-tipid uh, later on. Or, mm -hmm. Pero late mm -hmm. na daw kayo naglabas. Ano ba ang well, story? Well, then, Daniel, uh, we wanted to do the um, uh, vendors fair. Okay. Which was done actually as part of the National Science and Technology Week mm -hmm. in July. So, yes, uh, although, Kwana, actually, um, we are actually a little bit more advanced than in previous elections. Mm -hmm. You know, 
uh, few selections, medyo kanya na nagigipit eh. So the Comelec actually did really uh, urge us to go faster. Mm-hmm. No? And um, ko naman, I think we did. Bumilis naman kayo. Oh, bumilis naman. Oh. Oh, oh, Hindi, oh, kasi oh. ang nagiging problema, the last time na sabi niya, eh kasi di sila kaagad <laughs> naglabas. So kaya kami, sabi nga na, nakaipit oh, kami. Oh. So ang nangyari, itong uh, hindi na nila uh, ipina- binigay na nila sa Smartmatic itong para doon sa diagnostics, yung first stage. Uh, well, I don't know about diba? that part. Oh, oh, yun daw oh, ang sinasabi. Oh, oh. Pero sila ho ba, uh, pwede ba silang, kasi advisory lang naman yes, yun sa inyo, oh. no? pwede ba silang kahit nag-advise kayo, Ayo namin ng advice ninyo. Pwede ba nilang gawin 'yon? O yes, kailangan sundin nila yung ina-advise nyo? You no, know, they don't they are not uh, as the advisor. No, we give a recommendation. Okay. But it's merely a recommendation. So it's not a hard and fast no. rule na dapat nilang sundin. No. You have to toe but the in, line. Well, in fairness Daniel to the Comelec, actually they try their best to follow. No. Oh. Um often the if there are lapses, it is mainly for example due to exigency, o masyadong mahal, o, uh, you know, it's not practical to do. Uh, mm-hmm. So, ngayon ho, uh, kasi naglalabasan, kagaya niyan, meron na namang mga, mga panibagong mga usapin na didinggin ulit with regard dito sa mga dayaan na nangyari mm-hmm. dito sa uh, di umano ay papag, uh, mamanipula ng mga PICOS machines. Okay. Uh, napag-aralan nyo na ho ba ito? Dahil, of course, you will be recommending dito sa yes. Commission on mm-hmm. Elections. Ano? And uh, with all of these things, and with the upcoming uh, Senate hearing on the 5th of February, ito na ho yun. Yung GCOC. Oo, oh, maglalabas yeah. na mm-hmm. naman dito. A- ano ho ba ang findings ninyo? Dahil, uh, as a uh, pag- tagapagbigay ng advice, dapat, uh, ano kayo doon? Uh, nasu- nasu- well, nasu- ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Um, Technology, mm-hmm. okay, uh, it is very, actually, you might even say, some theorists will say it's next to impossible for it to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the important point often is to find where the imperfections are mm-hmm. and then to mitigate against those using other methods. Mm-hmm. So, uh, a good example is, for example, we, the, the errors that were found in the 2013 election. Mm-hmm. You know, there, were, there were cases na ganun eh. Yung mali-mali yung bilang. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, after the the process of uh, okay, uh, analyzing what the problem was, we found that it was dirt on the sensor. Okay. Kumbaga, parang, you know, when you take a picture, oh, may, may dumi dun sa, kwan, mm-hmm. no? So, talagang magmamali yung, kwan, no? So, uh, the, what, the, the, the countermeasure mm-hmm. would be to uh, clean, make sure that the sensor is clean, every certain number of uh, scans, for example. Mm. So, if you um, you could size the number of precincts so that the number of voters or ballots that it'll scan is within that limit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if they Come know again. that that's one of the problems, then they can do just yes. simply uh-huh. putting some dirt in it so that it, it will yes. malfunction. Uh-huh. 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 So, <laughs> so, maybe dapat may nagbaban light to make sure that the Balot is clean. Yes. No, no. Para pag sinaksak, eh, walang problema. Mm-hmm. Pero sa pag-aaral ninyo ho ngayon, eh, dahil maraming sinasabing mga discrepancy, okay. eh, I, I suppose you've heard of all of these things na sinasabi how to manipulate yung mga nagiging resulta and even in the transmission and even in the resolutions that they have uh, uh, filed, yung mga ginawa na nila at in-implement na nila. Yeah. Pag-alis nung digital signature, pag-alis nung UV mm. lamp, mm. Uh, and uh, what have you. Um, kayo ba naniniwala, dapat itong mga security measures na to ibalik? Oh, absolutely. Mm. In fact, we, we have, the Council has consistently recommended that the full security measure, suite, uh, full suite of security measures be implemented. Na hindi sinusunod ng COMELEC? Uh, Kasi resolution nila yung nagtanggal nun, eh, di ba? Yes. Um, well, they probably found out that they couldn't do it, no. Uh, Dung time na yon. No? I, I think in the 2010, yes, the yes. digital signatures were not fully implemented. That's correct. And was adopted already in yes, the succeeding uh, 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 election, uh, 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 right? Uh, in 2013, kasi um, actually it's the DOST that provides the national root CA. It's it's for the digital signatures. Mm-hmm. That's the enabling uh, infrastructure. Mm-hmm. to allow nationwide use of digital signatures. Okay. So that is now operational. So we told the Comelec, oh, this is already operational, you can use it. 
So th they will be adopting that one? Yes, and they have actually uh, requested the signatures. Okay, so ito ibabalik na nila? Hopefully. Uh, no, it's, so, it's one thing to get the signatures, it's one thing to put them in. And, and you have recommended that already yes, for oh. them to put all of these things back, yes, in, including oh. the digital signature, which is now going to be available for them yeah. and they can make use of whatever technology that you yes. came up with mm -hmm. from the DOST. Right. So uh, apart from that, what else do you suggest that they should put back with regard to the security measures that you have to... Well, probably, install? Daniel Quenin, the most important is the procedural um, uh, loopholes that have been identified, eh, i-plug na. No? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one is the, you know, the, the cleaning of the machines. Okay. You know, to make sure, because the, the test that is done by the, the, mm -hmm. the power on diagnostics, mm -hmm. it actually tests the electronics, mm -hmm. but not the physical part of the machine, the scanner, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, the sensor itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, that should be incorporated. Mm -mm. No. Uh, the other is the you voter verification system. We had wanted that you know you put it on the machine, so it's only registered voters that can actually have their ballot scanned. Mm -mm. But that's additional technology, uh, additional cost. Mm -hmm. So I think as a first step, what the Comelec uh, is is going to do is they will put voter verification at the gate. Mm -hmm. no. So yun bi biometrics yun. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are improving. No? So, pero hindi kayo ang nag-recommend ang tanggalin nila yung mga security measures na yun? Ah, no. Hindi, hindi kayo nag-advise doon? No. Kasi baka sabi naman iba, hindi, hindi ba ill-advise ang Comelec? <laughs> Dahil parang they came up with this kind of uh, resolutions. Tinanggal nila yung mga dapat sana pang hawak. Instead of like looking for a way, paano nila magagawa? Well, I'm sure they, they did try. No? They did try to find a way. So, you're convinced but, na yeah, hindi nila kaya? Mm -hmm. Um... At that time, okay. you know, that, that every election again improved naman. Exactly. Yan. So at this point, uh, bukod dun sa digital signature na yun, alin pa dun sa mga inalis nila mga uh, security measures na tingin ninyo ay pwede na namang ilagay? Kasi kagaya na pati sa source code, pati yung, di ba, yung, yung VLAMP, pati yung mm -hmm. receipt uh, na tinanggal nila, uh, eh, hindi ba pwede yun? Hindi ba kayang gawin yun? Um... Actually, all of the recommendations are theoretical, theoretically possible. No? It depends really on the amount of money you have, the amount of time you have to prepare. Right? So, uh, I believe that they are improving. Pero napag-aralan nyo na po ba kung may sapat pa silang panahon, may sapat silang pondo, kung ibabalik itong lahat ng security measures na to? Kasi kagaya ng nasabi ni Attorney Chong sa akin mm -hmm. na... Ang uh, isa sa mga kumbaga parang gusto nilang maibalik lang ko sa kale para wag nilang tutulan na yung paggamit nitong PICOS machine sa darating na 2016 elections. Mm -hmm. Yung mga security measures na ito. Yeah. Dahil dito ho ay parang ito yung isa sa maaaring maging pangsugpo para wag makalusot yung mga ginagawang yeah, manipulasyon. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. pinag-aralan ho ninyo yan at syempre kayo naman ho eh, mas eh, nagbibigay ng advice sa COMELEC liban na lang kung hindi kayo pakinggan. Uh, Ito ba na pag-aralan nyo na kung pwede na nilang magawa sa 2016 election? Well, as far, yeah, as far as the digital signatures are concerned, we think there's no impediment to putting them in. Okay. So uh, they have enough time and they have enough funds? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Because the existing machines, as far as I, I know, can accommodate the digital signatures. It was mm -hmm. a matter of the availability of them. Mm -hmm. no. So now that they're available, it should be possible. Mm -hmm. Um the question with regards to the source code is whether it should be uh, adjusted or not modified. Mm -hmm. Kasi if we modify it, mm -hmm. no, ang, ang software kasi pag you modify one little piece of it, eh, it could possibly invalidate the whole uh, program. Mm -hmm. So you have to review the whole thing again. No? And that involves a lot of cost na naman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, doon ho sa mga ano na yon, sa mga security measures na yon. Ano ano ang mga irerekomenda niyo ibalik bukod sa digital uh, sa digital signature? Uh, the transmission, no? That should be examined, no? mm -hmm. uh, The others are add-on features actually. Mm -hmm. So for example, yung um, what is the biometric verification but again, that's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hindi na yon. Eh, na yun. Pero na yun. what about the the receipt? 
Ah, uh, you mean the audit log? Oo, kasi ano lang naman yun, eh, pag labas, parang hindi yung nakalagay lang na sinasabi nila na uh, you have successfully uh, uh, cast your vote, uh, and things like that. Congratulations. Well, yeah, we did recommend that yung voter verification system, no? Uh, ito yung, there's a screen that tells you that your vote was read this way. Oh, yun lang naman yun, pero sana meron kang resibo. Yes, oo. Uh, uh, that's actually a little bit difficult for them, I think. Oh, mm -hmm. Bakit po? Oh, oh. Bakit po? Um, Kasi parang ano lang naman yan, parang isang ma makina, kwentada, tapos mayroon lalabas lang na parang, oh, ito, resibo. Well, one lang yun, it require modification of the code. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're also concerned about the uh, the processing time that would happen. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, if the, oh, you know, if the voter voted, nandun naman sa balot, pero pag nakita yung resibo, eh gusto kong palitan. Paano yun? Yung they go back? Hindi. Kung re yung, resib yung resibo naman, oh, di ba, eh, parang sasabihin lang sa'yo na, oh, nakast yung vote yeah, mo, yeah, di ba? Ganun yeah. na, oh, ano, ano yung papalitan po doon? Ano, if they, you know, if they, uh, if they think that they wanted to vote for somebody else, they realize it dun sa, dun sa receipt, di ba? Mm -hmm. Then they can say, okay, uh, Yes, I voted that way, but I want to change it. Ay, yeah, syempre, hindi na ho iaalaw yun. Uh, well, di ba, ganun lang naman ka-simple yun. Mm, mm, hindi, hindi ka na, mm, dahil binoto mo na nga eh. Nag-cast ka na nga ng vote eh. But, but that, if that is the only thing that would hinder na kaya ay hindi ka bibigyan ng resibo, I don't think that is even, no, that, that is even practical mm. or it, it doesn't make any sense. Well, one of the, uh, part of the recommendation was to uh, put something for the voter to be able to verify how the machine read his vote. Mm -hmm. no, we think that's important, mm -hmm. no? but uh, how they do it, that's uh, up to the common leg. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, pero pero yun ay eh, parang ni recommenda niyo to, yeah. oh, to oh, for oh, them oh, to have oh, that. Oh. So but, ngayon, but uh, let me explain also oh, Daniel, no? that as far as the technology is concerned, actually okay naman siya magbasa. Eh. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. It's accurate. Mm -hmm. What you put down is what. Notwithstanding, what is, what madumihan is, yung sensor, no? Oh, what is being uh, uh, read. Yes. Uh, so, uh, meron pa rin, kung nadumihan yung sensor or uh, whatever, yeah, so nagkakaroon ng glitches. Mm, so, mm. But uh, another thing is when it is being transmitted already. Yes. Uh, uh, so, right after it was read correctly, and then the other problem is going to be the transmission. Yes. So, uh, there, along the way, there are also some sort of glitches wherein cheating can come in. Yes. But the uh, requirement is that that is all signed digitally. Okay. The one of the features of digital uh, signing it digitally is the data cannot be changed. Oh, which they have removed, diba? uh, And which you are, which yeah, you which are actually we, recommending. We recommend that na, ib i, na ibalik nila. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. what if kung hindi nila binalik? Well, um, there's always that paper trail. People can compare the two, uh, uh, the this is the audit log mm -hmm. versus what is uh, in the machine itself. Mm -hmm. But of course, the best thing is to you know implement the digital signature. Yes, yes. Uh, so, so there's nothing that you can do pala to impose on, on them? No, we can only recommend. Oh, parang, uh, parang ano lang kayo, kamot ulo na lang kayo. Sabi ko na sa inyo, gawin nyo, ganun. <laughs> parang ayaw nyo, ayaw nyo, matigas ulo nyo. So dito ngayon sa susunod, kasi na, yung na-approve na yung uh, first stage ng contract ng Comelec, which okay. was already awarded by the Comelec to Smartmatic, hindi okay. po ba? Uh, uh, ano po yung kasunod na inaabangan sa inyo na baka mamay sabihin na naman ng Comelec eh matagal na naman kayo mag uh, I think the next uh, the next recommendation next will be stage. on the uh, kung sino magsa-certify. Yung third, kasi the, the law requires that a third party international certification agency yes. uh -oh. uh, review the code and certify it. Mm -hmm. So that's the next thing. Although, mm -hmm. Actually... So, uh, mahirap naman siguro na Smartmatic pa rin magsa-certify sa sarili nila. Ay, hindi naman po pwede. <laughs> That never happens. Siguro hindi naman pwede no, na yun. No, no, ano, no, no. Talagang yan eh, medyo garapala na yun no, pagka no, no. pa mangyayari. That has never happened. Alright. So, uh -huh. apart from that, uh, kasi hindi ba yung uh, mga uh, makina na ito na gagamitin? Eh, Pag-uusapan pa rin kung ano bang uh, mag-a-acquire pa ba? Ano bang... Sitwasan? Well, what we recommended was, um, you know, um, we think that the machines will still be workable. Of course, they have to go through a uh, uh, refurbishing mm -hmm. process no? mm -hmm. to make sure that they're still operational. A few will be not usable. Uh, which is kaya nga ngayon ay 
uh, pumasok sila sa kontrata with Smartmatic yes. for the diagnostics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dahil ang gusto sana daw nga ng Comelec, sabi sa akin ni <laughs> Chairman Brillantes, gusto ko na nga puro bago eh. eh kaso ang gusto naman ng uh, advisory <laughs> council. Saan po eh. yung pera? And uh -huh. uh, with the amount of use that we put the machines through, mm -hmm. no, it is a uh, common practice that uh, it is a reasonable expectation that a lot of them will still be usable. Mm -mm. No. So, that's why we recommended, you know, uh, pa-diagnose na lang uh, muna. Pag-diagnose muna, and then kung ano yung mga kailangan nyo palitan, di palitan nyo. Mm. Pero tingin nyo ba, tama yung decision nila na ipa-diagnose sa Smartmatic? Before you uh, answer sir. that, sir, we'll pause for a break. <laughs> okay.